This is the first of three tutorials to talk about Paul's Extreme Sound Stretcher, or Paul Stretch, which is a free audio tool for extending and transforming sound files. It can create rich, evolving textures or be tweaked to isolate more pure tones. It's worth experimenting with the parameters to find out the settings that best suit your material and your intentions. I've created three videos providing progressively more detailed information about the parameters and processes possible in Paul's Extreme Sound Stretcher. In this first video, we'll cover how to import a sound file, perform a basic stretch, and how to export and save the final result. To load an input sound, go to the File menu and click Open Audio File. By default, we're taken to the root directory of the computer, which can be a bit confusing, especially for those used to shiny operating systems. You can click to navigate through the folders on the computer, or use the Favorites menu to jump to a specific location. If there is a specific place that you keep your sounds, you might want to save that folder as a favorite location. Simply navigate to the folder and then select Add to Favorites in the Favorites menu. There are three stretching modes Stretch, Hyperstretch, and Shorten. Please remember that Hyperstretch creates obscenely long sounds and can clog up your hard drive with sound that you might never even hear. You can control the extent of stretch by using the slider or you can hit the S button to enter a discrete value. When you've set your values, you can click the play button to hear the result. The program will begin to process the output and begin to play it back when it's able. Right-clicking the play button will play the original sound without any stretch. You can also use the stretch multiplier to automate and vary the extent of stretch over time. You can set keyframe or automation points and then choose whether the program interpolates between these in a straight linear fashion or in a smooth way. Clicking on each automation point brings up the value details in the bar on the left. Here you can edit the details for precision. You can also add smoothing by using the smooth function slider which controls the extent to which the automation sticks to your points. When you're ready to export your sound, select either File, Render and Save Output File, or click on the Write to File tab. In the latter, you can choose to export and save only a portion of the sound file, and this is something that might be appropriate if you're using the hyperstretch mode. You'll need to specify the location where you wish to save the file and a file name. Please remember, if you change the file directory, you'll lose the name and have to put it back in again, so make sure you've chosen where you want to save the file before you type in the name. Again, you'll be able to find the same favorite locations that you have in the open file menu, and you can always create a new subfolder into which to save your stretched sounds. When you're ready, just hit render, and you'll see the progress bar showing you how the export is getting along. This covers the basics of using Paul Stretch. In the next video, we'll begin to explore how the time stretching process works and unlock the deeper potentials in the program. Yeah.